If you're fed up with inaccurate answers from AI tools like ChatGPT and you want a faster, easier, more accurate and more fun way to learn pretty much anything, or if you need to digest and assimilate large amounts of information quickly, then Notebook LM is for you. It's from Google, it's free, and honestly, it's one of the most powerful and useful AI tools that I've seen so far. It basically brings all your notes, whether they're in a PDF, a YouTube video, a website URL, a Google Doc or what have you, brings them all into one place, and it actually helps you to digest and understand that information super fast without getting lost in the chaos. And unlike most general chatbots, Notebook LM is designed to stop hallucinations, because it only extracts knowledge from the sources that you provide. And in this video, I'm going to show you all the things you can do with Notebook LM, including creating things like mind maps, study guides, turning your notes into interactive podcasts, and even turning them into videos. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use Notebook LM to get the most out of it. Hi, my name is Steve from entrepreneurnut.com, and on this channel, I share tips, tools, and strategies to help you work online smarter, not harder. Now, let's get into the video. So as I said earlier, Notebook LM is free and to access it, you can either come to this URL right here, which is notebooklm.google, or you can access it via your Gmail account by coming into Gmail, clicking on the dots menu in the top right, where you can select other Google apps. If you scroll down, you will see the icon for Notebook LM right here. Click on this and you'll open up Notebook LM. Now, once you're inside Notebook LM, you'll first probably notice these featured notebooks right here. And these are notebooks that have been created by experts on quite interesting topics. You can also click see all if you want to see more of them. But in this video, I'm going to be focusing on how you can use Notebook LM for yourself. So let's dive into that. So first of all, I'll show you how to load different sources into your notebook, a really important step, of course, before we get into more fun stuff like creating interactive audiobooks, mind maps and videos and so on. So in Notebook LM, first thing we'll do is create our notebooks. Let's go to create new notebook. And now here we've got the options to upload various types of notes. For example, if you want to upload things from your Google Doc, website URLs or YouTube videos, or even copy paste your text in here. And on the free plan of Notebook LM, you can upload up to 50 sources per notebook, which is pretty good going. So for this Notebook LM example, I've chosen the topic of how to optimize your workspace for productivity. And first of all, I found this website right here on expert recommended tips for workspace productivity. So I'm just going to take this URL and then in my notebook, I'm going to click on this website and I'm going to paste in my URL right here. Here, and I can add multiple URLs. Let's go and grab one more. So now I also have this article here as well about the psychology of workspace design and productivity. Let's grab this and then go paste in my URL underneath, click insert. And now we can see right here that Notebook LM is pulling these two sources into our notebook. If I want to, I can click on either of these to see the full article. And Notebook LM also gives us a summary as well as useful sections we can jump to within this article and a summary right here as well. Now, before we move on, let me just rename this particular workbook right here. And then I want to add more sources. So it comes to the top here where it says sources and I'm just going to minimize this window, it brings us back to the first two sources we have here. And I want to add a third source, which is going to be a YouTube video. So I click on add sources. And now I've got a YouTube video right here from Dr. Huberman about optimizing workspace productivity. So I'm going to grab the URL of this video, come back to my notebook LM and then click on YouTube right here paste in my video, click insert. And now we can see that Notebook LM is pulling the content of this YouTube video into our notebook. Specifically, it's pulling in the transcript. And now this content is added to our notebook, which is pretty awesome. Now I can actually add multiple YouTube videos too if I want to, but what I'm gonna do next is also upload a PDF document. So I click on add sources and I've got a PDF document right here on the psychology of workspace and productivity. So I'm gonna drop this in. And now Notebook LM is also pulling the content of our PDF into our notebook too. Now, one more source I want to add is a Google Doc because I already have an article right here saved in my Google Docs. And first of all, in order to share this with Notebook LM, I first need to make this shareable. So click on the dots in the top right corner, click on share. And under the share settings right here, you need to change general access from restricted to anyone with the link. Then click done. And now this article is shareable. So if I now hit back to Notebook LM, I can now click on add new source. And I can select this option right here for Google Drive. Notebook LM will access my Google Drive. And this is the document right here. I can click on this and then click insert. And now, as we can see, this Google Doc has also been pulled into our sources for our notebook. So now with all our sources added, we can, of course, add more if you want to. We can actually add up to 50, like I said earlier. But the first thing I can do is start to interact with the AI down here and start asking questions. And the AI is only going to answer me based on the content of my sources that I've added. So this helps to significantly reduce or pretty much eliminate hallucinations. So it's only going to share knowledge with you from these documents. So for example, I could start off asking something like this, summarize all sources and give me the five best takeaways with action steps for each. 
if I submit this. Now it's going to read all the content of my sources and start giving me my answers right here. And then at the bottom, Notebook LM has given us action steps for each. So this is pretty awesome. Now, the other cool thing is that Notebook LM will also suggest good questions that you can follow up with down here too. So if you don't quite know what you should be asking, Notebook LM is going to make suggestions for you. So how about this one? How does lighting position affect alertness? If I click on this, now Notebook LM is going to answer this question based on our sources again. And if you want to simplify the content, you could ask Notebook LM to explain this to me like I'm 10. And now Notebook LM will simplify the content and explain it to you in really simple terms. And another cool feature that Notebook LM has recently added is on the right hand side here, you can now also add your notes manually to this too, if you want to make any additional notes as you go along. You can just exit out of that by clicking on the little close button in the top and brings us back to this view right here. Now, let me show you one of my favorite features of Notebook LM. This is awesome. So if we look up in the top right corner here, we can see these options of other Notebook LM features. And what I want to show you first is the audio overview. So this is essentially turning your notes into an interactive podcast, which is amazing. I'll show it to you in a sec. But other features in here that I'll also walk you through are turning your notes into a video, creating mind maps, reports, flashcards, quizzes, infographics, and also slide decks if you wanted to turn your notes into a presentation. So let's click on audio overview. And now straight away, without doing anything else, Notebook LM is already created an interactive podcast which hosted by two podcast hosts and they're going to be discussing the topic and telling you all about it based on your sources so this can take a minute so i'm just going to pause this video be back with you in a sec and i'll show you the podcast feature in action okay so notebook lm has now created our podcast right here so let's click play and see what it sounds like welcome to the deep dive today we're tackling something absolutely fundamental to modern work how do we actually build an environment a workspace that's optimized for peak moments. And that's such an urgent question. The listener sources we have here, they cover everything from you know basic design principles to some really deep neurobiology. Now, I think that's amazing. I think the voices sound really realistic, but now watch what happens when we go interactive mode and I can actually ask the podcast host some questions. Welcome to the deep dive. Today, we're tackling something absolutely fundamental to modern work. So what I can do in a minute is press this join button and then I'll be able to ask a question. Let me carry on playing for a sec. Actually build an environment, a workspace that's optimized for peak performance. And that's such an urgent question. The listener sources we have. Oh, hey there, how can we help? Hey, I don't have a lot of time here. Can you please give me the top five key takeaways with quick win applications I can get from this information? Absolutely, we can do that for you right now. That is a fantastic request and we're happy to prioritize your time. Okay, let's unpack this and give you the absolute highest impact, low cost wins. We can pull these key takeaways right from the core design and neurobiology principles we plan to cover. So we'll give you five quick wins and then we'll dive back into the context behind them for those who have more time. Ready, quick win number one, minimize clutter. The application here is simple. Declutter your entire desk right now. Every straight item is visual noise. Visual noise drains your cognitive load. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty amazing. And this makes learning so much quicker and more fun. Okay, quick pause here. If you're getting value from this video, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. On this channel, I share step-by-step -step guides on how to simplify the tech side of your business to help you be more productive, how to actually use AI and other smart tools the right way, and how to turn those tools into systems that can potentially bring in more revenue. So if that sounds good to you, then I'd love you to be a subscriber so you don't miss what comes next. Okay, now let's exit out of the podcast feature. We can do that by clicking on the top right icon right here. And let's go to the next really useful feature that I want to show you, which is mind maps. So let's click on mind maps. And now Notebook LM is going to organize all our notes and create an interactive mind map. So again, this can take a minute. So I'll pause the video and I'll be back with you in a sec. So here's a mind map ready for us. Let's click on this and see what we've got. So here we go. Here is our mind map and we can click on the little toggles. And I can also even move my mouse and zoom in or zoom out. I can also zoom in and zoom out right down here in the bottom. And I can keep opening these little windows to see the next steps in our mind map. So this is super useful, super handy to organize your information. It helps to deepen your understanding. And if you want to exit out of the mind map and go back to the main screen, let's click on the little icon in the top right. Now I can see my mind map on the right hand side right here and I can move that around as well as interacting with my notes or even asking more questions down here. And then if I want to come back to the main menu, I can click on the little icon in the top right again to close the mind maps down. That mind map is still here as is my podcast right here and any additional notes I've made. And I still have access to all the other features right here. Now, this next Notebook LM feature has loads of use cases. Let me show you this. So back inside Notebook LM here, what we're going to do is come up to the top right and we're going to go to reports. 
Now, under reports, there's loads we can do with this. For example, creating a briefing doc, a study guide, a blog post, a best practices guide, a research memo, explainer article, concept explainer, or creating your own type of report. Now, as you can imagine, depending on why you're using Notebook LM, there's actually probably hundreds of use cases for this feature alone. But let me show you a couple of examples. For example, if we want to create a study guide, all we do is click on the little pencil next to the study guide. And now here, we just need to select our language. I'm going to keep it on English. And then we just need to give a prompt here to Notebook. LM. But not only that, Notebook LM has actually already created us a prompt that's already pretty decent anyway. But if you want to add to this, you can do so. If not, then just click the generate button and Notebook LM goes ahead and generates your report for you right here. So in just a few seconds, our study guide is now ready. And if I click on it, here we go. Here is our study guide. with All the information all nicely organized to make learning as easy as possible for you. Now, if I come to the top right and exit out of that, I can then come back to the reports feature. And let's say, for example, we wanted to turn our sources into a blog post. Now, one thing you can do is actually add to your sources. So if you remember, we've added five sources originally, like I added a couple of website URLs and a YouTube video and a Google Doc and a PDF. But if I close out of this, first of all, I can actually come over to the sources section right here. So here are our sources the moment we're drawing from. And you can do this at any stage of using Notebook LM, of course. I can come up to add sources. And again, I've got the options to add manually myself from websites, YouTube, Google Drive, and so on. But we also have this button at the top right here that says discover sources. If I click on this, now Notebook LM gives me a prompt window right here where I can prompt Notebook LM to search the web for more sources for me to save me time going to look for more sources myself. So if I say something like search the web for more highly credible sources on productivity, submit my prompt. And now Notebook LM is already going out searching the whole of the internet. And in a sec, it's going to pull in lots of different sources that it's found. And just like that, it's found seven sources. Now, before I import them, what you probably most likely prefer to do is click on view first. So you can look at any of these sources just to make sure they are actually decent enough and all on topic. So these are the new sources that Notebook LM has found. And on the right hand side of each of these sources, we've got this little icon where we can open the resource and take a quick look at it yourself. If you don't like it for whatever reason, you don't want to include it in your sources list, you just uncheck the box right there, making sure to only keep checks the boxes for the sources that you do want to import into your sources list. I'm going to keep all of them, click on import. And now all those sources have been now added to my sources list right here. So this can give you a greater depth of research. If one can't be read like this one, for example, at the bottom, some websites do block AI bots from scraping their content. So if that's the case, we can just delete it from our list if I click remove right here or alternatively if it really was something that you wanted you can click on the link to go and look at that website manually copy and paste the text and then come back up here to add sources and you can click on this copy paste text option right here and just copy paste that article right in here simple anyway now we have our expanded sources list let's go back to reports and we're going to create a blog post so now if I click on this blog post option, here is where we can write our prompt. And of course, Notebook LM has already created the prompt for us. But if you wanted to expand on this or add specific instructions like pointers for SEO, so your article will then rank in search engines like Google and Bing. Or if you particularly wanted your article to include an FAQ section or a comparison section or anything like that, you can just add that into your prompt right here. I'm not going to do that just for the speed of this video. Click on generate. And now Notebook LM is creating our blog post right here. And again, this doesn't take very long at all. Okay, so now Notebook LM has created our blog post. And if I click on this, we can see what our blog post looks like right here. So the title is Rethinking Productivity, Five Counterintuitive Rules for a Smarter Workday. And Notebook LM has broken up our content into different sections. And there's our conclusion. So super handy and a massive time saver for creating content. Now, important tip just to know, just to be aware if you want to use Notebook LM to create blog posts, while it is excellent for research and it's designed to minimize and hopefully eliminate hallucinations so your information is really accurate, it's not actually designed for creativity. So AI tools like Claude are much better for creativity, especially creative writing, but it does have a tendency to hallucinate somewhat. So personally, if I was going to publish something like this on my own blog, besides, of course, adding in your own ideas and your own knowledge and experience, what I'd recommend is you first copy paste this from Notebook LM into Claude and ask Claude to rewrite it in a tone and style that matches your brand and your blog. That way you'll get a much nicer, much more engaging article that's more conversational and easier and more enjoyable to read. Now, if we exit out of the blog post right here, comes to the top right, click on the close button. Now we've got these other options, so flashcards. So let's say perhaps you want to create some flashcards that you can print off and carry around with you, help speed up your learning. This is how you do it. 
So we're going to come back into Notebook LM and before we create our flashcards, how about we just uncheck a few of these sources? Don't have to, but I'm just going to uncheck. So now we've got eight sources we're going to be reading from. Come up to the top right and select flashcards. All you need to do is click on this and straight away Notebook LM gets to work creating flashcards for you based on all the information in our sources. So it's going to pull the best tips and the most useful information that you need to know, condense that and put them onto flashcards, which is pretty cool. And just like that, our flashcards are ready. So if I click on the flashcards, here is what they look like. And you can toggle across and click to see the next flashcards in our sequence. And as you can see down here, Notebook LM has created 60 different flashcards based on eight sources that we had checked right here. And I can click on this button right here to download them to my computer, just like that. Now, just when you thought Notebook LM couldn't possibly get any more helpful, it's also got a feature to test your knowledge to help you deepen your learning. Let me show it to you. So back inside Notebook LM, let's go over to the top right and click on quizzes. Now, when I click on this quiz option right here, Notebook LM is now going to create a quiz based on our sources and it will give you multiple choice answers. So you can then go through and see how well you've learned the topic that you're studying. And just like that, Notebook LM has now created our quiz. So if I click on this, here are our questions with our multiple choice answers. And Notebook LM even provides you with a little hint down the bottom right here too. So you can select your answer. I don't actually know the answer because I haven't actually read or consumed this information. I'm just doing this to demo for you guys. Let me just select A. Oh, it happened to be the right one. <laughs> cool. Let's go to next and then you see the next answer or the next question. So I wonder what happens if we get a wrong answer. Let's just click on D. So in that case, Notebook LM will highlight the correct answer for you. Then you can go to next and so on and work your way through your quiz. So that's quite fun and pretty handy to deepen your knowledge. Now exiting out of the quiz feature, click on the top right to close the app view. You'll also notice here under the features in the studio, there's also an infographic feature to create helpful infographics and also a slide deck feature if you wanted to create a presentation or a webinar on this too. Unfortunately, both of these features are not available right now, so I can't demo them for you, but there's little notes there that's popping up that, that these two features will be back online soon. Now, if you're a visual learner and you like to have images and slides to look at while you're learning, then Notebook LM's video creation feature might be exactly what you've been looking for. Let me show you how it works. Now back inside Notebook LM, you can also get this AI tool to create videos for you based on your sources. Now again, there's loads you can do with this besides just using it as a study guide. For example, you could put these videos into your own course if you're selling a course or if you're in education, you can create these for your students or you can use them when you're marketing and so on. There's quite a lot of use cases. So before we create our video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and uncheck some of our sources because the more sources that you have in here, the longer it's going to take to create your video. Now it's fine if you want a long video, it can actually create pretty lengthy ones for you if that's what you're wanting but just for the sake of this video and save time I'm just going to select a few sources now so if I check let's say the first five so I've got five sources now I come over to video overview in the top right click on this button and now notebook lm will get to work creating our video right here now this still will take a few minutes so I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back with you in a sec once it's ready Okay, so here we are. Our video is now ready and Notebook LM has titled it Mastering Time or Losing It. So if I click on the video right here, here we can see that Notebook LM has created this video from five sources right here and it's a six minute video. So let's click play and see what it's like. Do you ever feel like you're constantly trying to squeeze more out of every single minute? You know, stacking your calendar, optimizing your to-do list, always hunting for that next perfect productivity hack? Well, you are definitely not alone. It seems like we're all obsessed with mastering our time, but what if all this effort is making us miss the point entirely? Okay, let's dive into this. You know, the comedian George Carlin was joking about this decades ago, and somehow it's never felt more true, has it? So that's really cool. I mean, the voice is amazing. It sounds so realistic. But also down here, we've got controls where we can easily rewind or jump forwards, as well as controlling the speed of the video as well. And you also have the full screen option right here too. Not only that, but you can also share the video right here by clicking on this button. And in which case, when you click on this, you just need to make sure that Notebook LM Access, you need to switch it from restricted to anyone with the link. And then you can copy the link right here and send that link to whoever you want. And also you've got the download option to download this video to your computer and you can do whatever you want with it. Now exiting out of this by clicking the top right corner. Another thing you can also do is share your entire notebook as well if you want. For example, if you want to share it with teammates or students or whatever, you click on this share button right here. And again, you've got the same options for the notebook access. You want to make sure this is set to anyone with the link. Then you'll be able to copy the link right here and share that with whoever you want. Now, if you want to see 10 more AI tools that you won't believe are free, then watch this video right here.